Hitting movie theaters in 1988, Die Hard's Bruce Willis was considered to be America's first action hero, and in my opinion, one of the best. And not to be confused with superheroes like Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Captain America. Having grossed over $140 million worldwide in 1988 on a budget of just $28 million, and actually that's a lot of money back then, you'd be hard pressed to find someone who didn't like this movie. I mean, I personally loved it. I don't know about you, but I did. And welcome back to Movie Mistakes. And today we are going to show you the 10 mistakes we found in Die Hard. I mean, we got to give out a spoiler alert. I mean, the movie came out in 1988, uh, almost 30 years ago. So I shouldn't have to give out a spoiler alert. But if you haven't seen it yet and you were born maybe 15 years ago, here's your spoiler alert. Also, if this is your first time hanging out with us, I want to say welcome. You will see continuation errors, things disappear and reappear, and some props that may move. So be prepared. Holy shit. Relax, we got everything. For mistake number one, we're talking about the bear. Check out the bear in the back seat, sitting in the middle seat. Mind his own business, right? VHS. <laughs> But in the second shot of the bear, he is now positioned to the left. <laughs> or is he married? This is Christmas music. Here's an Easter egg for you. Something you probably didn't know. The Nakatomi Plaza is actually the property of 20th Century Fox. They actually own that plaza. Pretty sweet little nugget. I didn't know that at first, but I'm glad I know now. For more mistake number three, we're focused on the touch keypad. This was pretty high tech merchandise back in 1988, but that's not what we're focused on. We're focused on the name Holly Gennaro. Check out the way it's spelled. But even with the pretty high tech piece of machinery, you'll notice that her name is now changed. There's an E spelled in the name instead of an A. What's up with that? 30th floor, the party. They're the only ones left in the building. For mistake number four, we get a good look at the truck backing up to the dock. Here we are, have bad guys jumping out. They look pretty serious. They got automatic weapons and everything. But if you're able to follow along with the movie like we were, you'll know that nothing else got into that truck. So if the building was on lockdown and nothing else got into the truck, how'd that ambulance appear in there all of a sudden? Those guys and the ambulance could not fit inside that truck. What the fuck is going on? Get them back. Lock them back. Trust me when I tell you that I'm not a mortician. I don't work closely with dead people. That's not a profession that I'd like to have. But I am fairly certain about one thing. Dead people don't close their eyes. Check this out. For the next scene, we get a good look at Bruce Willis as he scurries through the AC duct. Now I'll tell you, this guy is the true hero in my book because I'm claustrophobic. There is no way, shape, and form that I'm fitting inside an AC duct. I'm not going in there. I don't care what's going on. But all that is beside the point. Check out how white his shirt is. Well, it's not really that white, kind of dingy, but it's still kind of white. Come on to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. <laughs> Now I'm fairly certain that you notice inside the air duct wasn't really that dirty. Now, doesn't mean that there is dust up there, but it really wasn't that dirty. Not dirty enough to make a shirt look like this. But nobody has any dust. Now try really hard not to judge his reaction too harshly. Now, how would you react if somebody dropped a dead body on your car? I'm pretty sure you'd freak out too. But that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is, car windshields don't break, they shatter. This one broke. Medic, 
Now I for one, the first time watching this movie, trying to wonder why they would drive a tank up to the front of a building. But it's a Hollywood movie, so it doesn't need to make sense. But I'll tell you what does need to make sense, watch the glass break after the rocket launcher takes out the tank. So we get a good look as the rocket launcher shoots the second shot. Now why would the glass need to break again when it already broke the first time? So the scene here when Bruce Willis is shooting bullets into the air, they try to shoot back at him, he jumps off of the roof. So you say to yourself, movie mistakes, what's so weird about that? Well I'll show you what's so weird about that, this is what's so weird about that. And no, he wasn't wearing socks earlier, nor did he pull them off a dead guy. These were special made socks that looked like feet to give us the impression that he's running around barefoot. But they're busted. Get aside, you assholes! Oh, shit. Swing around again! I'll bag this little bastard! So for our last and final mistake, we get a good look at the helicopter as it blows up and falls off of the building. We get a quick cut over to what's supposed to be Bruce Willis, but that's not him, that's his stunt double. And anyone who's seen enough Bruce Willis movies can tell you, that's not him. Batman the Killing Joke. Unless you've been living under a rock, there's a pretty good chance that you've heard of this book. I mean, it's only one of the most famous graphic novels of all time. Batman the Killing Joke is considered to be the greatest Joker story.